What's up everyone, Gio over here. Today's vlog day and we're hanging out with the Marine Patrol. Now we have Officer Rudy over here. He actually had to go into the water and save someone's life. So I'm gonna let him speak about that and get you some more information on what happened. Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Officer Rudy Rodriguez. So on October 10th, uh, we were dispatched at the MacArthur Causeway. There was a suicidal male that jumped off the causeway and by, just by coincidence, we happened to be in the area. And uh, when we pulled up, he was unconscious when he hit the water and within seconds he started sinking. He probably got to like about three or four feet underwater and right before we almost lost sight of him, I had to take off my duty belt and we were able to jump in and, uh, and pull him out. So being that we're in Marine Patrol, I'm gonna introduce you to the newest, newest, newest member. We have Officer De La Soto here. Say hello. Hi, how are you guys? Officer Soto Aguilar. I've only been here for a year, but I've learned a lot. So she's the only female in this unit. We'll be catching up with her at a later date for a vlog. But today we're hanging out with Officer DC, which you know from previous vlogs. How you doing, brother? What's going on? How you guys doing out there? Let's get some information out there for new boaters, people that might be wondering, hey, um, I have a, an interest in boating. You know, what do I do to know the rules? Where do I go? So uh, what we recommend is get a boater ID card. You get that through myfwc.com. Uh, if you were born after January 1st, 1988, you are required to have one of those. I believe it takes about a week to get. Um, so it's a little course just to show you the rules of the road and uh, shows you the maps and where you can go fast and where are manatee areas, no wake zones, etc. So the manatee zones down here in South Florida is a big thing. We do have a lot of manatees. So please get that information and understand and know exactly where you're going so you don't hurt these animals in the water by mistake. So from the dates of November 15th to April 30th, Inside the ICW is a no-wake zone due to the manatees coming in for the warmer waters. So a no-wake zone, what kind of speed is that? Like four miles an hour, five miles an hour? How does that work? So it's it's not actually by miles per hour. It's actually uh, the speed. You, you have to look at your engines in the back. It's basically just enough steerage where you could maneuver your vessel without shooting any wake on the back of the engine. All right, so the main reason why we're having this vlog today is to inform everybody about derelict vessels. Now, this is a big thing and a big problem that the city of Miami is having. Now, you guys are partnering up with the Fish and Wildlife. We are. Now, put this way, this problem is so big that they got a stack over here of files full of boats that are derelict. So a derelict vessel is a vessel that's abandoned. A derelict vessel must be left stored abandoned in a wrecked junk or substantially dismantled condition for it to be considered derelict. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and place a sticker on a derelict vessel. It's located here on, by, by Bayside. Let's go. So we're here with the first derelict vessels right in front of the Perez Art Museum. It is, it's a, it's a huge eyesore. We don't want this here in the city of Miami. This happened right after Tropical Storm Eta. We went ahead and did a locate notify, let the last known owner know the whereabouts of his or her vessel condition. Now it's very important that the Marine Patrol actually identifies these vessels so that they can be collected and removed because it actually can become toxic for the environment. Absolutely, you're gonna have a discharge of oil, a discharge of gasoline as well, um, and this could be a navigational hazard. If this, uh, the tides change and this boat is no longer submerged, it could be in the middle of the, of the bay here and a boat could collide with it. So right behind me is a perfect example of a derelict vessel. This one uh, took in water and it submerged. Um, the, uh, the owner has five days to remove this vessel out of the water. It's been here for the last three months. We went ahead and charged the owner and now the city is seeking restitution. 
Last week Thursday, we were able to successfully remove seven derelict vessels from Marine Stadium. Three which were on land, two were submerged, and we did that with the help of Derm and Kearns Construction. How are you today, sir? How are you? Oh, you're good. What we just did right now, we just did a safety check on a personal watercraft. Uh, sometimes we like to educate the boaters out here, especially Marine Stadium, where it's going to be a no wake zone in the coming days. Um, he had everything up to date, his registration was up to date, everything else looked good, so we gave him a break. It's good to go. So what do you look for for a safety inspection? So every every uh, person in watercraft has to have a fire extinguisher. They have to have a whistle on themselves, either on a lanyard and around their um, wrist or on their actual life jacket. They have to have uh, their proper FLs on the side of the, the personal watercraft, as well as uh, up-to-date registration. Just like in patrol, there's a, there's a whole bunch of different tow companies. Well, over here in the waterways, we have uh, Tow Boat US, we have Sea Tow, and they come out here and uh, they help, they assist all the boaters out here in the city of Miami. Zone. You guys were the only ones going pretty fast. So the reason why we stopped this jet ski is because here in the ICW, just south of the MacArthur Causeway, it is a no wake zone. So that's pretty much as soon as the front of the jet ski it's going uh, lifts up off the water, you're already going too fast. That's the reason for the stop. Now, once we perform that stop, then we'll go ahead and uh, finish up with the safety inspection. So the reason why FWC set in place these uh, no wake zones and minimum wake zones is uh, the two main reasons. One is you're responsible for your wake. So if there's a bunch of boats that like how we are tied here at the dock and you cause a big wake, which causes a boat to rock. If you if you cause any damage, you are responsible for that damage. And another reason why the no wake zone is because this time of year, all the manatees are coming in uh, for the warm water. So we have an influx of manatees at this time of year. And then that's why you have to go slow here. If you're on a boat in the city of Miami and you happen to see dead, sick or injured manatee, you go ahead and call 1-888-404-FWCC or you call the city of Miami Police Department. Not only do we have a, a, a large body of water here in the city of Miami, we have also islands in the, in the city of Miami. This island right here is called Willis Island. Uh, we're here to enforce and we're here to educate as well. Uh, one of the rules on the island is you cannot beach, you cannot tie to the mangroves or the trees on the actual island. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, let these guys know that they can't beach your jet skis on the actual island. Habla inglés o español? Okay, you guys are more than welcome to be on the actual island, okay? The jet skis have to be floating like this jet ski. They cannot be beached on the actual sand. All right? They have to be rocking, right? All right, guys. Make sure, guys, you like, share, and subscribe. Wait, hold on a second. That's my job. Guys, don't forget to like, share, scuba dive. See you later. <laughs>